Deuteronomy 6 9. Ukatavtam al mezuzot batecha uvish arecha. Now, you will write them upon your doorposts, and this word mezuzot also refers to the container on the doorpost that holds the laws, the doorposts uh, of your house and upon your gates. Now if we take this word here, uh, the singular form of the word is mezuzah, and then as you can see, whether it's in the uh, construct or as an absolute, here it's in construct with your house. It takes the oat ending for the feminine plural and on the door posts of your house. You'll also notice that we have the your singular pronominal suffix attached to the end of these words and this is your house singular and here we have uh, and upon your gates, plural. And the difference, um, one of the differences we can see that jumps out at us is in the plural, there's the connecting yod, which shows that here the construct form is used to hold the uh, pronominal suffix on the end, shows the difference between your gates and your house. It's interesting that this verse does not have the etnach or the etnachta, in the middle of almost every verse of the Bible, uh, there's a netnach underneath a word in the middle, and at the end, of course, there's the saluk and the sof posik. Uh, this verse does have the saluk and the sof posik, but this is just a single phrase, or it's almost like a half verse, if you will. And one final point that's quite striking is here the laws which Moses teaches are to be written upon the door frames of their house and upon their gates. Now the same imagery will be picked up by Jeremiah when he speaks about the new covenant where the law is written on your hearts.